Now the next project that I need to do is the the good old reservoir. And the reservoir I'm actually going to be chopping it. This is just a hollow area to house the the little thermometer area and to make it fit a 5.2 inch to 5 inch bay. So I'm just going to chop that whole chunk off. This is all going to go off. I'm going to leave this front pa uh, face so it still has that in it. Just this is all going out because I can't cut this metal or anything so the, the reservoir is just going to sit right in here. And I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to secure it yet. But I, the first thing I have to do is cut this reservoir open so I can actually eyeball where it's going to be and stuff. And I'm going to have to cut this piece of metal right here because I want the reservoir to uh, sit as low as possible. I'll chop this whole chunk out and probably even this area. I'm not sure yet, but I'll have to do the a corresponding cut on the face plate too so it fits in there flush. So that's gonna be a project. It might be might be more of a project than the damn PSU unfortunately. I think I'm going to um, I pulled out the, the little temperature stuff. I'm gonna be shortening up this wire because it's kind of ridiculously long. I don't need it that long. I'm kind of scared. I don't want to crack this at all. So I might just take it slow and use my hacksaw instead of the jigsaw. I started cutting the reservoir with my hacksaw. I think I'm going to turn it this way instead of going across. I'm just going to drill a hole at this corner so I have somewhere to um, cut to. And I'll just put it in here and go straight to the other side. You gotta be careful you guys. You wind up breaking your reservoir. You don't have to go buy a new one and start all over. I took the blade off of the off the actual hacksaw and I just grabbed some uh, landscape glove and it just gives me a little more precision be a little more careful with it. Take smaller strokes. And done. I have to make room for the reservoir. So I'm gonna go ahead and I don't know if you can see that. I drew a little line with pencil from here and then across over here trying to avoid these little clip points for the front face and this rivet but I'm going to bring it all the way over to here and I probably am going to have to chop out this section and then uh, like this little area right here and leave this one connected so it still has some some uh, structural integrity for the for the bay like it might be opening up enough space for our reservoir. Just trim up this edge of the plastic right here so it can fall right nicely down into that area. I'm done chopping out all the metal. I took that piece out of there. I wound up hacking this piece out of there. These are a couple pieces that were part of this platform. I just kind of cut it here, cut it here, kind of opened this up, took off all the burrs so it's not so it's not sharp. I mean it's still a little bit sharp, but at least there's not metal hanging. I don't know exactly how I'm gonna be mounting it yet. I can even sneak in through 
one of these gaps or drill my own hole right here so I can um, actually use these mounting points to screw them into uh, screw them into this metal. Coming along. It's definitely more work than mounting the PSU so far. I want to make the, uh, the disk drive and the reservoir flush with this face plate. Usually the bay accessories are kind of recessed a little bit and I just don't think it looks very clean. So what I've done is cut this whole entire chunk out and I actually have to go all the way down to this bottom part. Um, I'm probably going to get a new faceplate. They're only $8 or so on eBay. This is kind of, you know, experimenting, seeing exactly what I need to cut. And I don't know what I'm going to do with this stuff yet, but it's got to be, something's got to be done about that. I got the reservoir placed where I want it, I think. Now what I did over here is put a little tape on it. And these little mounting holes in here, one of them actually uh, lines up pretty well with this groove and I put one on there so it's kind of sitting there nice and sturdy. This wall right here lines up pretty good with with this right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill a shallow hole into this plastic and I'm just using this little poker to um, I'm going to try to keep it as level as possible and get a little starter dot where I need to drill it and then I'll put a little um, a little nut on on this side right here and I'll be able to tighten it down to this spot right here. I'm also going to need to um, secure it somewhere here in the front just because right now it's just resting on the edge of this plastic. So I didn't think this through very well before I started cutting on that reservoir. I basically just hacked it as close as I could get to the actual reservoir instead of kind of measuring it to fit this this gap in here. It would have been a little easier to have the plastic going all the way to this metal, but I drilled a little hole in the plastic right there and put this screw and washer and a little nut and then I drilled some holes in here and I was able to put some little screws in there. I'm actually going to enlarge these holes, that one and this one over here just so I can access those screws better. Those screws are going into these down in here but right now it's pretty pretty solid even in this front corner that doesn't have any bracing it's pretty solid I really wish I would have thought about cutting this to the right width but whatever it's working out okay 